No, you could be forgiven for thinking it was an impromptu eclipse. Where? But it isn't. Ah, oh, very funny. It's a lovely morning. It's the first time you can get in to do a little bit of weeding because the spring has been so cold. And it's interesting to see. Some of the trees, the step overs, are starting to break bud. Trees pollination is an interesting thing. They flower over a six week period. The easiest way of describing pollination groups, groups one, two and three, is those that flower in the first two weeks, pollination group one. Those that flower in the middle two weeks, pollination group two. And in the final two weeks, pollination group three. This is important because when you buy apple trees, you want them in the same pollin pollination group. You can't have the same variety, you need different varieties, but you need them in that same group or an overlapping group, you know, group two and three or one and two. We tend not to have up here in the north of Yorkshire, especially with a thousand feet up. We tend not to have anything in pollination group one. So we stick to twos and threes. There aren't too many in group one anyway. The purists divide it down further into, some put it down into nine groups, some put it into six groups. But if you just imagine this six week period and the flower usually lasts a couple of weeks, then that's perhaps the best way of explaining it. But it's the 1st of May, and as you can see, some of these buds that are only just breaking, it should be two, three weeks open now. One can hope it will play to our advantage and that there won't be any late frosts. We'll come back in a couple of weeks and have another look and see how all of these are looking. Well, it's now late May and I'm looking at these trees. It's now three weeks since I filmed that last little piece and we're just starting to get through the pink bud stage on some of the trees. This is Keswick Codlin, so it's slightly earlier flowering. Others, they're just hanging about, waiting. If you look along here, you can see others, no blossom at all. However, there is a lot of blossom coming. If we don't get any frosts, and as I say, it's late May, we should get a reasonably good crop. Although having lost two hives of bees, I'm a little bit concerned about the pollination. It is the most peculiar year. These are hardly coming out at all. This is a good example of the pollination. You can see how one lot of flowers are, are wide open and others aren't. Here, on these trees, there's hardly anything, even the leaf is weak. Uh, 
And this bugger, well, you've, last week I was thinking these were dead. I mean, I knew they weren't because you can scratch them in the green underneath. But, just so far behind. There's a spade there. That needs somebody on the end of it. 